guess it's working. Oh, oh it went live. Oh, yeah, it's working there too. Um, how do you share it? Oh. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Dad. How do you share it? Can you share it from here? Hi, Patsy. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Haley. Hi, Alyssa. Hello, Cora. Oh, you can wave at them. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Are we good? We got uh, I'm, everything sure. working? Oh, hi Trisha. Hi Patsy. Oh, Bonnie said hi back. That's nice, Bonnie. I think it's working then, hey? Can you turn that off? The sound? My voice is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Oh, Trisha waved too. Oh, the funning is waved. Hello, Leanne. Pretty soon I'm going to come around to the other side of the camera. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Madison. Hi, Lori. There's lots of people. Oh, and I'm supposed to be jazzercising right now. I just got a notification. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to jazzercise. Are we ready? Yeah, I think All so. Right. So this will give you a couple of ideas. So should I show them the windows first? Sure. Do you guys know what we're doing? I don't know if you guys saw the post earlier that showed all the pictures of the windows. Wendy's trying to run two cameras and <laughs> pivot <laughs> tonight. So this is, can you see Wendy? Yeah, we're good. good. All right, so this is a um, decor transfer. So the transfers are actually made for furniture. This is their, so it's quite large scale. Um, this farmer's market one is 24 inches across and 33 inches high. So it's, I'm, I'm not that big, but you can kind of see, according to my height, at least get an idea of the size. So they're made for furniture. So to use them on a window is a little bit off book use, but everybody's kind of doing it. It's kind of one of those kinds of things. So this is a farmer's market transfer. This is a transfer that I cut in half and painted the window frame. Can they see that? Probably not the best. Yeah, the, the words are a little bit. Can you over there? Is that better? Um, so here's a window frame that we painted and added the transfer to. Uh, can you see this little, little window up here? Different transfer. So I should have counted today, but there's probably about 20, 
ish, 20 to 25 window trans or transfers that you can use on the windows. Um, they're all on our website, all available online. We are going to use, I'm going to show you a couple of them and then we're going to choose one to do on this window frame. So this is a window, I think it was about 24 inches. <laughs> about 24 inches square when I measured the glass. Is that right, Wendy? Is that right? I think so, yeah. yeah. So about 24 inches when we measured the glass. This was the, probably the roughest one we had. So a couple of things you're looking for when you're choosing a window. The first one is, is um, the glass does not have to be perfectly intact. I've done several now that have like little cracks in them, but of course you want it to be solid. So it can have a little crack across it and it doesn't seem to affect the use, but it needs to be in here solid. If the glass is not in solid, and this one was not, you just, you probably aren't going to be able to see this. Can you see? Not really. If you just ran, uh, run like a bead of uh, clear silicone around the back of the glass, my husband said to leave that overnight. I probably left it for about two hours. Um, but you want to make sure that your glass is going to be in here solid. And silicone on the back, just a bead of silicone around the outside of it will do that for you. Um, and then make sure that your frame is like solidly together. So this one actually needed a little bit of, uh, I don't know, we used the nail thing on it, like a nail gun, to put this corner back together. This window was in bad shape. It, it was like, it felt like press board. It was coming apart so easily in the corners. So any window will work, but before you start to do it, you want to make sure that when you go to hang it on your wall, it won't fall apart and that the glass won't fall out. Because the glass falling out is not fun, obviously. So I'm like a window purist, if you will. So I'm gonna borrow this little window. So this is a window that came straight out of, and we've been buying windows um, from Kijiji, or you can find them on Facebook Marketplace sometimes. Um, we've just been buying windows wherever we can buy windows. And this is exactly how this window came. So it had the hardware already on it. Um, we didn't sand this window. We didn't touch this window up at all. So it's got like chippy paint on it and it's just as is. And I love this because it's, it's a little piece of history, right? They don't make barn windows anymore, wood frame windows anymore. And this is just how it is. And once you paint over it, that little part of history is gone. So I love all this chippiness and all this kind of authentic, um, authenticness. Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> But it has been on this window, this black window that I did, um, the window was ugly. So I'm just going to say that it was, a, it had like really horrible green paint on it. And then it had a layer of really like, I can only describe as like pukey kind of brown on top of it. <laughs> and then a little bit of white mixed in there. So it wasn't cool and it was falling apart. So if you want to paint your window, um, what I painted my window with was our American Paint Company chalk paint. We have done a video on painting already with our chalk paint, but basically this is an all natural paint. Very easy to use. If it's very chippy on your window, you're going to want to sand the chippy part off. So it doesn't matter. You can paint over top of the paint without any prep, but if it's peeling and you paint over top of the peeling, you'll still see that lifting on it. So you want to make sure that you've sanded it smooth before you start. So you're going to silicone it, then you're going to sand it smooth. Um, our paint is really, really thick. Let's open this one up. So, ooh, this one's not as thick as some, but quite <laughs> thick. If you open it up and it's really thick, you can water it back with water. Um, you just would pour this into another container, water it down, and then go to town um, painting your window. This was actually done in just one coat, and you can see it's quite solid now. It's actually more solid than I was really going for. You can still sand it back at this point. Um, and maybe we will as we go. I haven't picked a transfer yet. So um, so that's the American chalk paint, or American company chalk paint. And then you need to seal it before you were to put a transfer on it. So if you looked at our pictures that we posted kind of leading up to this video, you may have noticed sometimes, what can they see? Can they see all of this? What can they see? Pretty much, just not these top the corners. Yep. Okay. So you may have seen some of the design going up onto the frame and onto the wood. And you probably see lots of windows that have what do you call those paint, like not panes, but the framework, the pane, framework in the windows. And they sometimes will see people put the transfer up on those pane parts. So if you're going to do that, then you need to make sure it's sealed. So the chalk paint is very, very chalky. And the transfer, when it goes down, will stick to like the top layer of whatever it uh, comes into contact with. So if you take the transfer and you stick it on unfinished 
or unsealed chalk paint, it's going to pick up all the chalk and not want to adhere to it really well. So the transfer likes to stick to a slick surface. So we're just talking about the frame here. You don't need to do this to the glass, but if you decide to paint the frame, then you need to seal it. And if you decide not to paint the frame and it's smooth, the transfer will stick straight to that. So painting is not necessary, but if you do it, you do need to seal it. So in our workshop, if you were here to take an in-person workshop, we would give you the option um, to choose your window, to choose your transfer, to choose to paint or not to paint, and to choose your sealer. So we didn't know how to build a kit for you guys for that because there's so many different options. So what we've done is we've got prices on our windows and the transfers are already priced. The transfers are also on our website. And you can buy, uh, if you want to use our paint, you can buy this four ounce um, bottle of jar, I guess, of chalk paint. And we've taken our top coat and put it into littler containers so you don't have to buy a whole lot of it. So this part, which is what you would need, is one color and one top coat is $20 instead of like normally the top coat's $34. So just to try and make it more affordable for you. So if you need a transfer and the paint and you already have a window, that's great. Or if you need a window, we're going to try and help you through all that picking process. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, on to the fun part. So I kind of like pre-selected four transfers and we're going to hopefully get some feedback on what to put on this window. So the transfers are pretty amazing. So they come in this tube. Every transfer comes. This is the tool that you put the transfer on with. Now we're getting into warmer weather. So one thing you need to know about the transfers is that they don't do really well in heat. So before they're applied. So you do not want to come and buy the transfer tomorrow when it's 25 degrees out and then leave this in your car. They stick to the backing paper a little bit. If, if that happens to you, uh, because it's getting warmer right now, you would take this transfer in its tube, throw it in the freezer for like 15 or 20 minutes and it'll probably be fine again. So this is the Midnight Garden. Now I don't know what they can see. They're going to cover up my face and not be able to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so all the transfers... How do I, where do I go, Wendy? I think you can see most of it if you just see hold it right up in front of you. <laughs> so all of the transfers have this grid on at the top of it. The grid will come off when you apply it. Um, that makes it really easy to decide where to cut because these you can just cut apart with scissors or and really easy to line up and lay down on your window. So this is our first option. This is the Midnight Garden. <coughs> the white paper obviously comes off the back and if you, when you go to do these, the white paper isn't even attached. It just lays in there to keep the transfer from sticking to itself. I really like the Midnight Garden with the black frame. Okay, I might be voting for that already. <laughs> the second one, this is Botanist Journal. This one is very, no, we're gonna get all mixed up. Hang on a second. If you're um, not using your transfer, you wanna keep it in your tube. So let's say you cut pieces of the transfer off. I would suggest you never throw them out because at some point you might need a little piece of it again. So you want to roll it back up and keep it in its tube because we want to try and keep it clean and dust free so it'll adhere. So this is Botanist Journal. I love the sunflower in this one. Let's see, how it, see how it looks with the black. Oh yes, it also looks very nice. Yeah, it's going to be hard to pick. It looks really nice with the black. Okay, so that's the Botanist Journal. Are we getting any comments? Not yet, everybody's just watching. Everyone's waiting for the four selections. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more than just florals. Like there's obviously a lot of florals, but there is um, that farmer's market one, and there's one called Catalog of Roses. Oh, I love that. Oh, I should make that a choice. <laughs> oh, this is a transfer I've already cut up. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't remember doing this. <laughs> Well, here's a piece of, I guess this is what I have left over. I don't even know what I used the rest of it for. A uh, piece of wallflower. Oh, I know what I used it for. I used it for this. <laughs> so that oh. is the remaining mm -hmm. part of wallflower on this transfer, actually. So I guess I took the corner of that. That's bad. <laughs> that was on the rack. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you can use this as a little other example of something you could do with the transfer. So wallflower also would look quite good on here. All right. And the last one I sort of pre-selected, I don't know 
if you guys saw the window that I did um, for our sneeze guard, which by the way, I think we could come up with a better word for that than sneeze guard. Um, it was a transfer called Wander. And it's just really pretty and soft. So all these transfers are hand painted by, well, the originals are hand painted, I guess, by the IOD sisters. I think the painting. Oh, that's really pretty too. So that's Wander. Um, hand painted and then reproduced onto this transfer paper. That is very nice up there. Okay, do we have any votes? No votes? What do you vote for, Wendy? Midnight Garden is my Midnight vote. Garden yeah. With the big flowers. Anybody else have a vote? Wendy, get all to say again. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Pamela says the first one. Midnight Sheila Garden. says the first one. Jesse says the first one. Okay. <laughs> the first one it is. <laughs> oh. Leanne says Midnight Garden. Midnight Garden. That's right. <laughs> oh, we have one vote for the second one. Which was Botanist Journal. Yeah. So we're a little low on Botanist Journal, <laughs> so we should probably save it for somebody else anyway because we don't have very many of those. Some of these are discontinued. I found out I'm a hoarder. They discontinued them and I just stocked right up. So some of them we have um, good quantity on, but we have the last ones in stock. So before you start, I did already clean this, but so one thing, well maybe it's on the other side, one thing that once you get your transfer on, oh it is on the other side, once you get your transfer on, you can never clean it with a chemical again. So there's a couple things once you get your transfer on. You can never clean it with a chemical again, so you're just gonna clean it with like a damp, and I mean like barely damp cloth, or just dust it. So as you're putting on your transfer, kind of good if you can keep your fingerprints off of it, um, but make sure you do a really good cleaning before, you know, get all the sawdust off if you sanded it, get it nice and clean. You can just use any kind of, I just use any window cleaner to clean it. Um, but you want it clean and you want it dry before you go to use before you go to put your transfer on. So we're going with Midnight Garden. Mm -hmm. Is that the majority, Wendy? Yes. Are you answering your question? Yep. <laughs> how come you don't say the questions out loud? Maybe other people have the questions. Uh, okay. How much are the transfers? Okay, so they're all on our website. They range. Um, I think <laughs> good question. <laughs> from about thirty-five dollars, like lemon drops, and there's one with some signs are thirty-five dollars for the transfers. These bigger floral transfers are forty-five dollars. And you can see all the images on there. And it has the sizes too, but this is the most common size, the um, 24 by 33 size. So in this case, it's gonna fit into the window pretty well. So it fits in top to bottom, actually really nicely. So a little trick that I like to use, which way is the top of my window? That way, hey? I'm gonna turn it around for just a minute. I'm gonna turn it around while I figure out how to place it. So you can't, so you see how when you're trying to place it on your, you can kind of get a feeling for where you might like it, but it's really hard to see where the edges of the transfer and the edges of the paper are. So I like to lift up my window and place this underneath and kind of get a better feel for it. That's how it's gonna look when it's framed. And this one has a peacock in it. I'm so indecisive about the peacock all the time. So now you can kind of move it around and figure out, that's all about the red flower. Can they see? Yep. I what if we left kind of the peacock? What if we left the peacock? Ooh, I've never left the peacock. I always cut the peacock out. I like that big leaf too. Something like that, what do you think? That's kind of cool. I keep waiting for all you guys to answer me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all flowers. So it's either all flowers. I love this transfer because it goes from the colored flowers into the black and white. It's very dramatic. Mm, so I think this transfer, you can cut any of them apart. This transfer is a little trickier to part, cut apart than some of them because it's not got a lot of like clear lines in it. Wendy's favorite transfer is the wildflower transfer. Oh yeah. 
So that's the wildflower transfers on the cabinet behind me, and it's really easy to cut the wildflowers apart because they're just individual flowers on the paper. And so here you can cut them apart, but you have to be a little more, kind of like it like that. What do you think? We have one vote either way, so it's a tie. With the peacock or no peacock? Yep. <laughs> that's not very helpful. <laughs> I like it there. Okay, so get out my handy dandy tape measure. And we are 23 and a half inches across. And we're going to pretty much use the whole height. 23, oh, it's a square window, 23 and a half inches high as well. So if you had, um, I don't know what you call those little wooden pieces in the middle, a decision you have to make. Oh, I should have had one of those. Can I have Wendy's look at here? I am not allowed to sell you this window. <laughs> this is Wendy's window. But so Wendy's window has these three pieces in it. You probably wouldn't pick this transfer for this window. But so what do you call these? Panes. Do you, this, I thought this was a pane. Oh, the. Like I guess it's a frame. Part, metal, I don't know. Not metal. Wood part. So you have a choice. If you have the wooden part in your frame, you can go right over top of it. That is not my preferred method, but lots of people like it. What? Pamela said they're mully, mullions. This is a mullion? The pieces. Okay. This is a mullion. We're going to try to remember that. <laughs> so you can take the transfer and you can kind of come like up on the edge and come right over the mullion and keep going as you go. That is not my... I've seen some beautiful ones done that way. That is probably the trickiest way to lay a transfer down. Um, what I like to do... So let's say we were doing this piece here and we were cutting out a piece of this flower. I would measure the inside of the window the way I did on the big one and then I would cut it and lay the transfer down and then I would try to approximate how much of the transfer was going to be hidden behind the mullions. If you assume this was one solid piece of glass and I would trim that middle piece out so that it looked like the design had kind of disappeared behind it because to me it looks weird. Say the big red flower was here. If the big red flower was here and then it just stopped and then started down here it's out of proportion then. So if you decide to do a window with a mullion in it, I would recommend cutting the transfer, using this as sort of like a, a, a piece you're gonna throw away because it's behind here in a perfect world, and then carrying on with the design down here. Does that make sense or was that really confusing? No, I don't that think so. Sense? So, okay. So the kind of the cool thing about um, this project is that you can take these planar windows and turn it into a piece of artwork without having to. So sometimes those windows with the mullions are harder to find. They're very in demand. But here I love the wide open glass. It's easier to lay down and it's a beautiful piece of artwork. Okay, so I'm gonna just say, we know it's 23 and a half inches across and I'm gonna start it somewhere about here, mark it with my Sharpie and go ahead and pull it back out to the front. And you need nothing special to cut a transfer. You just need good old regular scissors. And you can just cut right up on the grid line. Wait, did the peacock fail? <laughs> uh, sorry. I feel bad about that for some reason all of a sudden. I didn't expect that. And then we know our window is 23 and a half inches. I would suggest you might not want to cut this totally. Cut it tight to start, but you might want to trim it down before you go again. Before you cut again. Double check it. We know that's going to be straight. That is actually that line right there. You mark it and the uh, Sharpie works really well to write on top of the transfers. Or any black marker I guess. And I'm going to trim it up here. Now you want to be mindful that you are keeping the um, white paper on the back of the transfer until the last possible second because it, it's going to adhere very, very easily. And that is also true if you were doing like a furniture piece like behind me, it wants to stick, which is what makes it easy to lay down. So, you know what? I'm gonna trim a little bit off the bottom because we're just a hair tall too. And I don't think I'll notice it off the bottom. I kind of like the little room at the top. So I'm going to trim, I'm going to take two lines worth off the bottom, I think. 
How are we doing there, Wendy? Good. Okay. It is easier if you kind of have it cut to fit before you start to lay it down. I used to think I was some sort of transfer hero, and I wouldn't do that. I have some really nasty, perky, crooked transfers on stuff. More in furniture than on windows. So that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. All right. Can they still see? Mm -hmm. Okay. to lay down um, flowers and you have a single pane window like this, it would be super weird to start anything up in the middle like this. Like your eye would naturally know that it didn't like it. And it's not such a thing with the midnight garden, but like for example on the wildflower. If you didn't start the wildflower at the bottom and sort of have it coming out of the frame, it's like a weird floating flower at the end of it. So I recommend that you usually ground um, all of your designs, I guess the exceptions would be the sign styles, um, at the bottom of each mullion or each part of your frame just to make it, your, your eye will just like it better. Um, I think I had a second tip but I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably come back to me. <laughs> but when placing it, think about that. It is totally cool to have like, I don't know, so you can see how we've cut off part of the flowers at the bottom there and part of the flowers at the side. That's totally cool. You just don't want to have the fly, flying flowers. That's not cool. But this part, your eye doesn't even pick that up or notice that, you know, that we've even cut off the part of the peacock. It doesn't look out of place. So on the sides it's okay, but it's not okay on the bottom. So move your, move your design to the bottom more often than not. I mean, it's art, so it's whatever you like, but, but that's how I like it. <laughs> Yes, Wendy. Well, Wendy's starting to do this now. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela would like to know, can you layer transfers on top of each other? You absolutely can. You totally can layer transfers on top of each other. They layer really, really, really well. And I saw a thing last night, which I'm going to try. Maybe not tonight. Maybe tonight. No, probably not. Um, where you can layer, put the transfer down, layer the transfer, do whatever you want to the transfer, and then stamp on top. So if you wanted to, like, this is, this is my, my design in my head, which I have not had time to try. But let's say you had the Midnight Garden and you wanted to cut out like this part of the transfer. Okay, well, you'd have to lay the transfer down a little differently. But let's say you wanted to cut it out this way and you'd move the peacock off to the side and you cut out the middle of the transfer. Or maybe you would do this on a different transfer. But anyway, cut out the middle of the transfer and then you could put like a word in there. So you could say like, I don't know, gather or hope or love or whatever right in the middle of the transfer and we have liquid erasable chalk which would mean that you could go back in and change your word all the time and apparently the decor ink that iron orchid makes that we sell um will adhere to the glass but i just saw this last night and i haven't had time to try it but that i'm going to try that too all right but yeah it, sorry pamela i get I get really easily distracted it's like squirrel um you can totally um layer the transfers okay so moment of truth Try not to let the transfer touch itself. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to lay this here to give myself a little bit of room. And I can barely reach over the table. I'm going to turn it around. Line it up. Hover a little bit. And you're down. Once you get the bottom down, it's pretty easy. Okay, now the bottom's down. Just use your hand to kind of go over it. And now you can just sort of start to move the white paper up. You don't have to use the white paper, but I like it. It, it kind of keeps it from getting away from me. And if the transfer, like if you wanted to come back in and have the transfer come up on the frame, you wouldn't have to cut it to the size of the glass. You, but you have, this part is harder. So sometimes I like to come back in and if I was gonna do that, which I'm not, but if I was gonna do that, I would recommend cutting it still and then almost doing a second piece, especially on your first one. Okay, so the transfer is down. Just kind of keep going over it with your hand. You can take your little tool that comes in the tube, 
smooth it out. Okay, the hard part's over. That is it. So now, I think it's easier to find a spot that has negative space. So it just has grid line and has no uh, design on it to start to rub with. So when you're rubbing, I see this more on, I see this, I see this on glass sometimes too. But it, it wants to stick. If you put it on a clean surface, it wants to stick. So this does not have, like you should not be using a lot of forks. You should never break your window and I've seen it happen. <laughs> Um, in fact, I almost think using more force works against you instead of for you. So what I like to do, it's more about the angle. Can they see my hand, Wendy? Do they need to maybe zoom in or are you good? Um, I can zoom in for this part. Okay, let me know when you're zoomed. This is very important. <laughs> it's not really. You can't mess it up, but it helps. Am I, did you zoom into me right, right in this spot here in the middle? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So if you hold the transfer, I, I don't. You can hold it either with your your uh, index finger on top or with your thumb on top, whatever is more comfortable. But you want to try and keep the stick as parallel to the glass as you can, and a, just a little bit of force on here. Your hand should never hurt when you're doing this. So if you have arthritis or you have any issue with your hand, this should be very light. It's not a death grip and it's not a lot of force. So if you can find a spot that has like a negative part of the transfer and you can just start to get it to go, see how you can lift it, can they see that Wendy? I should have started in the middle probably. And you just rub it gently. And as you hear it, there it's lifting. And it's almost like if you can get the bubble going, it'll just fall off. So I don't know. Can you see it where it changed colors? Or not really? Mm, yeah, a little bit, middle, I think. So it's hard to see, but right here, this little spot right here is already transferred onto the glass. Um, and then you just keep going. This is hard because it's in the middle. I'm going to start over in the corner. And you, just, you don't have to do it in any order. And it'll already start to want to adhere. And sometimes, as you go, if you lift up, I'm having technical difficulties on Instagram. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? I touch the cam. I know I, the camera's flipped, so it's facing this oh. way, <laughs> and I can't figure out how to flip it back. Doesn't it have the little thing to turn it around? No. <laughs> okay, Wendy's dying inside right now. I am because they can see me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let Wendy work on that. So if you lift it as you go, you see that whole flower has now transferred onto the glass. So it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Really easy to do on glass. So even if you can't get that bubble going, but it's literally just falling on there. Oh, we're back on you. We're back on you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I could see you're turning red and I couldn't figure out why. So now, if you go along and the piece of transfer does not come off, so let's say you lifted that up to check and there was still the piece of transfer on the grid, you could just lay it right back down and fill it in. They're very, very forgiving, which is great. And I like to get a bubble going because the bubble just looks it. You can kind of hear it cracking. I don't know if you guys can hear it cracking. Can you hear it cracking, Wendy? I can. That's it coming off. So that whole section of the transfer is down. I like to work from top to bottom, but it doesn't matter at all. You work side to side, whatever works for you. And like I am using next to no pressure. Although I have just found out that I switch back and forth between my thumb and my index finger a lot, and I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's off awesome. too. So very forgiving and very quick and easy. Now I do like to try and keep my fingers off of the glass, which is easy when you're doing the big one. But now at this point you can't wash the window anymore, so keep that in mind. So there it comes. Just lift off like. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, any questions, Wendy? Not yet. Because it's so easy and it's so pretty, and you get to tell people that you made it. Did my dad go away? I can't tell. That I can't tell. I think he gets bored watching all the videos. <laughs> shows up in the. He's beginning. very faithful, though. Yeah, he shows up in the beginning. Him and Maddie. Mm-hmm. So as you work your way down the transfer, so now this paper is completely loose up here. So as you work your way, um, especially as you get into the bottom part, you want to keep your hand on it. 
because you do not want it to totally shift at the end. Ask me how I know. Very disappointing. And it's almost like the bigger the piece of the, more solid, I shouldn't say the bigger, the bigger the piece, or the more solid the part of the transfer, the easier it is to come off. And again, I'm using like no pressure whatsoever. I mean, if I just flip it, I'm gonna have a hard time reaching in a second. We call this riding the bubble, where we kind of just get the bubble going and it just lifts right off. It's worth it not to go super fast because sometimes the transfer will fall off in a place. Um, like you can go super fast and I've seen people just go and get it off. But I find when I do that, sometimes I have a piece of the flower in another flower, <laughs> which is not cool. So it's worth it to take a little bit of time, but there we go. So we're about half done already. Slip that up. And you guys can, I can't wait. I always need a little bit of a reveal. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't have worn a black shirt, eh? And then again, like there's no pieces to transfer on the grid paper, so it's completely transferred down. I need to say something. She wouldn't even say no. <laughs> I have to turn it around. I'm having a hard time reaching across the table there. Okay. If you're having trouble getting a piece to lay down, you can just lift it like this and pull the top paper up. You don't want to do too much of this at a time because that, if you're not pressing it down a little bit, you're probably not getting a good adhesion. Not a good adhesion, good adhesion. I'm going to work my way back up. Now I have to start to be a little bit mindful here because this is where it tends to want to slip. And what you can do is you can actually pay, uh, use a little bit of painter's tape and paint the top of the, or tape the top of the transfer down if you start to worry about it shifting on you. Um, that is, you totally can just tape the top part of it down once you get it started especially to keep it from shifting. Okay, we're three quarters of the way done. Okay, we have another question. Yay! So in negative space areas, are you transferring a clear film there or is there nothing? There is nothing. Negative space areas, when you're done, there will be nothing. So these transfers are really great because they don't have a lot of a halo. So around the edge of it, especially when you get it onto here. So they have, they've got a very small halo uh, border, I guess around it and so it's completely clear in the negative space areas and you don't get this weird kind of um, shadowy milky shadowy effect from these transfers which is pretty great the um you know what i've seen that's really beautiful so i guess one thing you probably haven't realized yet is the transfers are not double-sided unless they're black and white so the transfer is single-sided so they're really really cool to put on a mirror but you will get some of that uh, white on the back of it. But like, well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but if you do black and white especially, you can put it on a mirror and have like no halo and the, and the uh, clear space be completely mirrored. So that's really neat on a mirror. You know, a window too, but I feel like I'm going too fast. Um, I was going to say something else about that. What else would I, would I have been going to say about that, Wendy? Mirror, halos. I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The black and white ones are paintable transfers. So you can actually take the black and white ones, even like these, well, I don't know about these parts, but there's several black and white transfers, and you can paint them. So, for an example, am I getting enough to finish this? Remind me to tell them about paint. Okay. I'm like 95% done here. I should just finish. Okay, have a look. Okay, it was 90% done. I didn't get that corner.
probably some of you who know me are thinking, how does she not know that? <laughs> I'm just going to hold my hand here. This is the trickiest part, is not to get this last little bit to shift. So I tend to take another minute to rub over top of it. Because it's really disappointing to get this far. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, you usually can't even see this shift. So I always feel a little bit better when I have that shift. Okay, we're up. Or we're down, sorry. Oh my. Look at, now I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Maybe I should grab, tell me and then we can put it over on the wall, I guess. Maybe we didn't put a hanger on it. Can you see it? Uh, can you push it, pull it this way a little this bit? Way? There. Is my shirt from blending in too much? Is it too hard to see? No, I think it's okay. Just give me one second. Oh, I can see it on Instagram. Can you see the detail a little bit or no? Or should I hold it down against this paper maybe? Would that be better? It's not, it's pretty good, I think. So, the transfer is down, just like that, you're done. Um, you don't need to seal anything that goes on glass, and in fact, you shouldn't seal anything on glass because it's, um, uh, it'll give it that melty look. Now, the, the grid paper is good for one more thing. Um, you do need to burnish it. I'm going to make a smaller piece. So, you can use the grid paper. I have to remember which way. Use the grid paper um, so that the shiny side goes down and just rub over top of it and that'll burnish it into the glass. And you can also use just a paper towel or like a blue shop cloth to do this. So you just want to rub over top of it and make sure that you got the transfer down and nothing is going to lift on you. And that is it. Somebody, uh, Carol is asking how you clean it. You just have to clean it with a damp or dry cloth. Now, you can't actually clean the glass, um, like with a glass cleaner or anything. So, it's, I mean, it's a piece of art now, so you don't want to put any fingerprints on it that you don't need, but it has to be a clean, a lint-free, soft cloth to clean it now that it's done. You can get a fingerprint on it. I mean, you could take something and spray it in the little middle, but you don't want to spray any chemicals onto the transfer at all. So you don't need to seal it. It's stuck to the glass. It is done like dinner. And then unless you wanted to, I guess I could try that. I don't love this, but we put a little piece. It just takes away from it. It just needs the black frame. <laughs> but you could now, I mean, um, you could take, you know, a piece of the green leaf and have it come up on the side of the, of the sealed frame or along the bottom or whatever you wanted. But to me, that is beautiful and done enough. So now, the um, paintable transfers. So the paintable, this is a paintable transfer. This is one that I just put onto a white, this is just a piece of plywood, a totally paintable transfer. So you could just take like a watered down acrylic or chalk paint, I prefer chalk paint, uh, water it down and color in little bits of this and color it in to give it just a little bit of added dimension. Um, the farmer's market transfer, any of, it'll say paintable transfer when you go to our website. All of this stuff, by the way, is on our website, which is www.rusticranchfurniture.ca. And then you go to the Creative Workshop tab, and there's DIY, I think it's DIY products mm -hmm. for Wendy, a DIY product. Or you can just go and search on our website for transfers, and you'll find all of this stuff on there. Can you, can you come over to this window? To which one? Um, to this window. So, like, this window is also a paintable transfer. So you can take this transfer and you can put it onto wood and you can paint it, like fill it in with a little bit of chalk paint watered down. Or I've seen these windows done where like they just paint the uh, pumpkin or they paint the cabbage or they paint a little bit of the leaves and the sunflowers uh, on the glass as well and it is beautiful. And the nice thing about say this transfer, okay this transfer is the same, is when it's a paintable transfer, I don't know where they can see. <laughs> right. Can they see there? So the paintable transfers, the black and white transfers, they are truly double-sided. So if you wanted to hang this, I don't know, from your ceiling in the middle of your room or something, you can. Um, the one, if I was going to say downside to the transfers, and it's true of all of them, is they are not UV, they don't have a UV protectant in them. So like you can't, like I've seen in the, in the States, some stores that have like done their front store windows or their front doors, and these 
will fade. And then the only way to get them off is like with a razor blade. So you don't want to put this somewhere that it's going to be in full sun. I would say, because we did 120 windows last fall, like 115 of them are in somebody's bathroom. <laughs> Seems to be where they go. Um, but not like in a spot of full sun because the colors in these will fade in full sun. I have done a, a couple of projects with the transfers and put them outside and I haven't had a problem, but there's like no guarantee for UT or UV um, protection. So you want to be aware of that. What else can I say about the transfers, Wendy? Oh, Wendy's a question. Rochelle. <laughs> Rochelle is asking, can the transfers be applied to plastic like flower pots? Yes, they will apply to metal, they will apply to flower. Any smooth surface is really easy to do. Um, you would probably want to seal, I believe you want a plastic flower pot. You can apply it to plastic. Um, I would probably recommend painting the plastic first, sealing it and then putting it on, but it's a smooth surface. So I think ah, you could probably just put it on, but they won't do super great if you get water onto the pot, Michelle. You can apply it, but you don't want it in full sun and you don't want it getting wet all the time, but you can. You can put it on metal, you can put it on painted furniture, you put it on glass, um, put it on, I don't know, we, I've stuck it on, I've, I've got it on my notebook here. I've got it on the, this is like a little piece of a transfer that I had left over a while ago, probably a year and a half ago, and I just stuck the little piece of transfer on there. So any smooth surface, they stick to you really, really well, actually. Any other questions? Not yet. All right, well, I don't know what else to tell you. That's how easy that is. Um, so you gotta, yeah, we have, so we have some windows here. If you haven't found a window on Kijiji or you don't have one in your garage, we have a small selection of windows that we have hid in store for people who watch the video. <laughs> um, all the transfers are available online. Uh, so you can order them, we can ship them. You can do curbside pickup for them. Um, there are a few transfers that are discontinued that I have been hoarding. So some of them, when they're gone, they're gone. Um, but most of them are still available that are on the website. Um, or you can come, we have them in store. You can just come in and take a look at them. We have the paint in store. I think I went over the four ounce pot of paint and the top coat for $20. So this would be the other part of this uh, workshop component. This is normally a $125 workshop. So you guys can save some cash by having your own window and just buying the transfer even if you want to. So it's, it's a great option. And I feel like, no other questions? No. Nope. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to uh, email us or message us with any questions that you have. Can they see the final result one more time? I think it's really pretty. <laughs> it turned out good. It did turn out good. Yeah. Right? Good choice on this. So there's the final word. And that was like, uh, yeah, 45 minutes. And I would say last night when I was pre prepping the window, that was probably 45 minutes as well. But this was like a really terrible window. So in an hour and a half, you can make yourself a beautiful piece of art. Um, and you get to say you made it and you get to keep it forever. So... Thanks for watching, I guess, and let us know if we can help you and have a great uh, hot weekend, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night.